<laughs> so yeah. how, the, how the hell do you get into this? What, what, uh, how do you become an audition specialist? And how long have you been doing that? Well, I guess the answer to the question is I have to start at the beginning, watching actors that I admired not be able to audition very well. So they asked me to help them with their auditions, and it grew from there. Right. And I've been struggling ever since to find the keys to auditioning, especially for camera. And uh, I think I found it. So uh, how does Sherlock Holmesing? That's kind of part of your foundation. Mm -hmm. so how does that? How does that come into play of of, of creating uh, your formula or technique or how you teach? Talk well, a little the, bit about uh, that. what I discovered is that the camera sees knowledge; it doesn't see acting. Uh, actions are for the stage. We are all most of us were trained for the stage, so that's actions for the stage not for the camera and close-up especially and what that's what an audition is an audition camera is a close-up and what the close-up sees is the actor's eyes so on the stage you don't see the actor's eyes you see their actions on the camera you see not the actions but the but the actor's eyes and in the night in the eyes is knowledge right well how do you gain knowledge in a very quick time when you don't have much time to uh, there's no rehearsal as for the stage there is rehearsal so uh, uh, to be a good actor, you have to be a damn good detective, and you've got to do it very, very quickly. So I invented this process just through the process of elimination over the past you know, decade or so of how do I read a script and suck up all the knowledge that I need to have so the camera can see it in my close-up. And the only person I really have to justify my work to, which is what I stress, for all actors is uh, justified to the character. The reason, through, through me, the character grows. So it's me, as Bob Duvall says, bent just a little bit. But I have to be it. And the only way to do that is to suck up all the knowledge very quickly for camera. In the theater, you have a rehearsal time, which is lovely. Film and television, almost never. So that's the Sherlock Holmes thing. Right, just kind of uh, using the tenets of Sherlock Holmes to kind of unearth well, the yeah, script. Well, yeah, yeah, curiosity. I mean, I, the, reason to, the reason to download your script uh, uh, these days, download, my day we had to actually go pick up the scripts, uh, download the script is uh, to be curious about who I get a chance to be, which is a Bob Duvall quote that I often quote. Uh, and curiosity, intuition carries you through the reading of the script, and then deductive reasoning, you put it all together to solve the crime, in a sense. And then you have the knowledge, and that's what the camera sees. Right. And then you, the actor's job is to create the reality of everything we, meaning the audience, don't see. And emotion creates reality, so you have to know how you feel about every object that's dealt with in the scene, in the audition scene. Then we believe you. Right. Yeah. Well, in your book, you know, you talk about the, the, the value and the importance of that first moment. Oh, boy. Um, casting directors told me over the years that actors lose the audition in the first 10 or 12 seconds. And I think that's a crime, frankly. So I work very hard with my people to get that first moment, because if you can grab them, then you've got them. And through working the scene, then we see what things mean to you. And what you're hearing, you have to know what it is that you're hearing, what you're saying, and what it means to you. So you have to have an emotion associated with all persons, places, things, and events so that's in this, so in this text. Yeah. Kind of stacking the, the, the deck in terms of you're using the Sherlock Holmes as to unearth all the material. Well, you, then you're kind of using your emotion. Yeah. You said emotion yeah. creates reality. Yeah. So you're having emotions that mm -hmm. are creating the reality of who you are, where you are, who this person is. All that. But the, the writer is the guide. You only, the only person that you have to help you for an audition, unless you come to an audition coach like myself, is the writer. You don't have a director, you don't have fellow actors, you have a reader that's not supposed to give you very much. So, but you have to endow the reader, you have to endow all the persons, places, things, and events in the text with a reality so you appear to know what you're talking about. And emotion does create reality. The, the writer is suggesting an emotion about a person, place, thing, or event, and your job is to make that real. We human beings remember our history, if you will, in pictures. We also have a future that we imagine in pictures. When we become actors, suddenly we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to remember words. Do you follow? We're supposed to remember words. Let's do the pictures first, then the words become easy.
So you talk, you talk about a lot about object of your behavior. Mm -hmm. what, what is that? What All is that? acting is too far and off of an object of your behavior, and that object has to be endowed with a reality that contains the emotion, or it's not real. And that, just that that's simple. encapsulated right out of the gate. Absolutely. Me. If I don't know who I'm talking to, uh, one of the one of the lines in my in my book, it was going to be a chapter title, and uh, we decided against it. But one of the one of the things that I say in my book is, you don't have to act if you know who the bitch is. <laughs> and, and that's literally true. If I know who I'm talking to, then a reality is formed. But if it's a reader, I have to, cre I have to endow it with a reality. I don't have the luxury of, uh, of a fellow actor, if right. you will. Well, switch, switching over to your classes, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what, what's different about your class as per se uh, a traditional scene study or an acting class? What, what? I, I think scene study is very valuable, but scene study doesn't necessarily get you work. This is the practical side. It's mm -hmm. after scene study, after all of those wonderful technique teachers and all of that s lovely stuff that we've all had. Now we have to get a job. It's a whole different world, the audition world from the scene study world. And if you don't know how to do live in the audition world, where's that scene study? stuff going to go uh, so and on camera is a component of that is that correct on and, camera and, and that's that? how you that's how we get work for film and television I mean it's literally seen on camera so I have to know how to do that in terms of the audition process awesome and uh, what's the basic structure of the class how does it work does when people come to class well <clears throat> People have asked me, why am I different f from other teachers? And I don't like to talk about other teachers. I think that all teachers have their value. But uh, I, what I struggle with and what I concentrate on is I teach the actor. I don't teach my method to everybody the same way. I have to sculpt you in a sense. And I have to work with you to discover what works for you. Uh, throughout the process of the class. So I teach basically individuals in a classroom setting. Well, uh, and all the different ways in which the people can kind of better understand of you and how you work. Do you have a, you have a CD, MP3, mm -hmm. you have a DVD. Yeah, uh, I went and retail. <laughs> and, and a book. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, how do those differ and how are those tools used? Well, the, I get great feedback these days. The book has been out for about a year and I've gotten great feedback on, they carry it around. Some of them call it the Bible. It's a very practical approach on how to do it that's, that's supplemented by my classes. And I want them to, uh, to be able to refer to something without calling me every five minutes. Right. And then they begin to teach themselves, which is the only way really that you own this, is that it becomes you. And that's part of my teaching is how can I have what I teach you, how can I make sure that it belongs to you and it's not just me forming you. And how does the DVD fit into that? What is the DVD of? Specific? Well, you get to watch me do my thing for three hours and 47 minutes. Which is the Sherlock Holmes thing. Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes thing, breaking lecture. the script down, relationships, all of that. You, gotcha. get, you get the practical approach. You see it literally in a nice little theater in Santa Monica. Right. And so the, the, so the title of the book is Audition for Your Career. Not the Job. Not the Job. Right. What does that mean to you? Well, because the reason to go to the audition is to become that person. Look who I get a chance to be. That you can do, that's active, that's a process. To go to the audition because I need a job is not a process. It's, it's in fact impossible to do. It's a need, of course, but you have to need to be the character first in the audition. Then you might get lucky and uh, get a job. So when you're auditioning for your career, mm -hmm. you may not get that job, but, but the, calib the work that you do... May when you walk out of that room, they have to know that an actor walked out of that room. Good, bad, or indifferent in terms of how you did the audition for this character. You might be too fat, too short, too tall, too black, too white, whatever. Do you understand? But they have to know that there goes an actor. According, according to casting directors, 90% of the actors that come to an audition are ill-prepared, and I think that's a crime. So recently you saw the uh, performance of Daniel Day-Lewis oh. and Abraham Lincoln. How, how is a performance like that shape you as a teacher in terms of what you're trying to teach and evoke in actors? I think it goes back to the only person that you have to justify your work to is your character. You have to honor that character, even the bad guys. You have to honor them, because even in the bad guys, that's where the lesson is. But to walk in someone else's shoes and have the honor of doing that, of walking in someone's shoes, especially someone like Abraham Lincoln, my God, what an honor that is. 
as opposed to climbing the mountain, the detail that he brought to that character is, was magnificent. And it's, it's really why I, I've been teaching for over three decades, is that I love to watch the actor, individual actor, grow into himself as an independent contractor, basically that you are not dependent on anyone other than yourself to create the role and uh, going into an audition and dealing moment to moment with that object, even, the, even if it's just a reader and they're not giving you much as they're supposed to not do and they're not supposed to give you very much. Even, even there, it's, it's, you bring them, Robert Duvall talks about it as capturing the other actor, capturing the other character and bringing them into your world. It's, such, it's, it's beautiful to watch. Anything else you want to say? Oh, man. There's so much <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, no, only, so much to say, so little time. Exactly. But exactly. it's clear that you have passion and, and love what you do. And well, I better. I've been doing it for a long time. And uh, it just keeps getting better. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a good wine. Uh, over the years, I've, just, I've watched uh, 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 actors grow based upon things that I, they were guinea pigs some of them I thought well, maybe this will work maybe this will help them get the job maybe this will help them understand how to craft even in the theater people are using my stuff for the theater these days um, but uh, uh, watching each individual it's like it's <laughs> it's like a garden I don't want to be corny right. but it's like a garden it's watching that individual Growth plant process. grow right. And it just, uh, uh, in a sense, it's giving birth. When I had my daughters, I cried, and I cry a lot uh, with the success of all of my actors. And that's just how I'm going to do it from now until it's over. Cool. So nice to be with you. Nice to be with you. Thank yeah, you. You bet. Bye-bye.